Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I'm here in the woodlot uh, because I want to uh, talk to you about trees. Uh, more than just uh, about trees, but uh, about uh, a spiritual principle that trees uh, demonstrate for us. Uh, I've been reading uh, over the last little while uh, some fascinating things about, uh, about trees and about woods. Uh, one thing that I was reading yesterday uh, talked about uh, something called fuel load. Fuel load. Uh, all of that uh, uh, stuff that falls down in any forest uh, and uh, fuels the fires uh, and uh, we've been reading lots about and hearing lots about wildfires uh, throughout our country and uh, let's be in prayer for uh, those who have been displaced by uh, these fires uh, throughout our nation and uh, uh, it was fascinating to read about uh, how a, uh, a wildfire can move uh, quickly through uh, uh, trees that have been uh, not looked after, uh, had, that have not been tended, but uh, instead there's all that fuel on the ground for the fire to burn through. But that's not exactly what I wanted to talk to you about today. In fact, uh, I was reading something else about trees today, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it comes from a project known as Biosphere 2. A group of scientists got together and uh, built a large uh, enclosure so that they could uh, simulate various conditions uh, here on the face of the planet. Uh, they built a desert inside of that sphere, a forest, even an ocean, and they simulated all the different uh, uh, things that uh, can be part of our world. The one weather condition though that they couldn't simulate was wind. And so the acacia trees grew up, they grew up well, and then all of a sudden they started to slump over and snap off. It turns out that the trees, even these ones, need the wind. They need the stress of the wind in order to help them to grow. And I, I think of that principle of uh, the, you know, where do you get the best mast for your boat? You go up on the tallest hill and you find the tree that has had the most wind on it and it's the strongest because the stress of the wind is what the tree needs in order to grow. So you get the drift of where I'm heading. In fact, in Hebrews chapter 12 at verse 11, it says, no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. A harvest of righteousness, that's what we're looking for, because we, as uh, the, the writer of the Hebrews reminds us, we want to uh, share in God's holiness. We want to know what uh, the Lord wants for us and we want to live by what the Lord wants for us. And sometimes we need some of his stress. We need some of the wind of life blowing on us to help us to grow uh, big and strong in our faith in Jesus Christ. So as the winds of life blow on, you remember it's for a purpose, it's for a season, and it's for a reason so that we will become more like our Savior Jesus Christ. Well, I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to run back inside, at least back out into the sunshine, so that uh, I don't have to cope with these mosquitoes anymore. But uh, as you're looking at the trees today, remember they teach us that great spiritual principle of the fact that we need the wind of adversity blowing on us so that we'll grow in strength in Jesus Christ. Have a great day. God bless you.